So it's the final day of our 2014 East Coast Bull Bars Australian Rally Championship. It's Rally Victoria. You can see behind me the plumes of dust coming from the dry, hard roads here. Of course, so much drama with the tyres yesterday, particularly, where Scott Petter come out on top. That puts him in a strong position, realistically only having to finish today to be our new Australian champ. His main rival, Brennan Reeves, needs an absolute cracker, and we've heard on the rumour mill that he's had some issues in these opening stages. So we will catch up with them at the remote service and see exactly what's gone on. Steve McKenzie, great run this morning. Disappointing yesterday, but you're actually leading the heat. That's pretty good going, isn't it? Yeah, yeah I was pretty surprised um, with the result this morning. Um, stage one, we just took it nice and easy, sort of tried to be nice on the tyres, and at the end of the stage, they were pretty good. Um, so, thought I'd have a crack at the second one, but um, Turbo's playing up again. Um, so, there was a lot of issues through that stage, so we probably lost a lot of time. Will I ever draft a stage man. It looks like he's taken stage two this morning, because you've got young McKenzie going flat stick. Yeah, he is. Uh, apparently, we're four seconds down or something. I haven't seen the times, but uh, looks like he's got that Fiesta pretty well sorted. So, yeah, it's, um, I, look, we knew he was he knew he was fast, but we're hoping he wasn't going to get gonna get that fast that quick. So, yeah, we've definitely got a new contender and good race on our hands this afternoon. Alan Rowe, a uh, few marks and uh, sign work scars that we're not used to on this car. Yeah, look, um, all year we've tried to keep it pretty tidy, but uh, the loose gravel and uh, worn tyres probably uh, got the better of me. A little bit of confidence and, uh, yeah, just couldn't quite pull her off in one corner. And, uh, yeah, we were really lucky. It uh, hit a bank badly on the left side and then scud down the road on its side on the right and then happened to land back on the wheels again. So we're a bit lucky. And the marks looked like that. It looked like it was a skid along the side and then a big gravel rash along the side and got and land on its wheels, you say? Yeah, absolutely the case. <laughs> We're going along and I'm looking at the side mirror and the gravel's there as it's going past and it just happened to land back on the wheels and we're on the wrong side of the road and backed out and got going again. Yeah, it's been one of those mornings. Um, first stage went out and sort of tried to manage the tyres. Got stuck in dust. I'm not sure if Brendo put it out in front of us or Raymo was slowing because he was catching Brendo or what was going on, but we had a... Had a a bit of dust to deal with there, uh, and had a really like felt really good in that second one despite having no tyres. But uh, Tony's on fire; he, he got us by another five. So, and um, I tell you, young Steve McKenzie's doing a good job too. So, you know, full credit to him. But um, you know, look, we just got to do some cows now and work out what's the minimum we have to do to uh, to make sure we hold on to that championship. Well, I said yesterday we um, took things out the back of cars, um, and tyre wear is pretty good. Like I'm pushing reasonably well on them, and and just. You know, getting out of it where it's wheel spinning and just ripping a piece for no reason. So I, I'm sort of managing them fairly well. I've had everything go wrong this morning. Um, we had a flat tyre only two k's into the first one, so we stopped where it was a good safe spot to change that. Uh, then Ramo went past, so we're in all his dust for 20 odd kilometres. Uh, then in that break to the next stage. Uh, we saw the pins were coming out of the rear brake caliper, so we put them back in and some cable ties to hold them, and the jack broke. Drama, drama everywhere, Scott Peter. Not necessarily to you. you had a pretty strong morning, although you know tyres are still a bit of a concern. Yeah, look, we, we went very conservative in the first one because we knew we had to try and make uh, the tyres last both stages and uh, torturous stages, um, particularly that first one. And there's about a 8k uphill sort of uh, third and fourth gear sort of stuff, so you just chew probably half the block in those 8k. So. Um, we just cruised through the last one, literally uh, walking pace it felt like at times.